Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Biv on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbiv.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new Essie tie-dye collection that is exclusive to Ulta Beauty. I did just get these today, so I'm super excited to show you guys swatches and comparisons. I am going to have to delay the Zoya summer collection until either midweek or next weekend since I am reviewing this tie-dye collection. I just knew you guys were so excited to see it, so I thought I'd bring it to you on Lake Union because why not? And then also, I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway. So, watch this video and I will announce the winner. All right guys, so first up, here we have Give It A Swirl. This is a gorgeous purple with a pink shimmer that is visible on the nail. I did two coats here in the live swatch and three coats in the swatch picture. The second and third coat really bring out the shimmer and I love this one. It has a great formula, beautiful color, and it's a must have. And you're probably wondering how this compares to Spring In Your Step from last year's spring collection. So I've got that comparison here for you. Spring In Your Step is a little bit more opaque on the first coat, but it's not quite as shimmery. It's also a little bit more pink leaning. And then China Glaze Get It Right, Get It Bright is a tad bit more gray tone and a little bit lighter. Then I compared it to Tears of Joy and you can see no comparison there. And then we have the B word from the Cirque Colors California Dreamin' Collection. I'll put a link in the cards to that review. And then we have Lace Up and Get Down from the Essie Roll With It Collection. And Essie World Is Your Oyster. And you can see no dupes here. And then I compared Solar Flare from the Kelly Marissa and Orly collab. I will put a link to that video in the cards. And you can see how that compares to Give It A Swirl. And then who else remembers Girly Grunge? That was one of my favorite Essie collections. I knew it wouldn't even be close, but I had to pull it out. Let me know down in the comments if you guys remember that collection and if you guys remember that polish. And then Don't Get It Twisted is up next. This is a gorgeous pink. When I first saw this, I was like, okay, we definitely have dupes to this, but I did not find any dupes. The shimmer in this is, it's very similar to Give It A Swirl. The second coat really builds up the shimmer. I did two coats here in the live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture again. And this polish is just, it's the perfect pink with the perfect amount of shimmer and the perfect formula. So I compared this one to Kissed by Mist. I was sure that that would be a complete dupe, but it was not. Kissed by Mist is a little bit lighter and it actually has a blue shimmer, whereas Don't Get It Twisted has a pinky orange shimmer. And then Wet Suited Up, obviously, from the Let It Ripple collection is not even close. And then Bon Bon Nui from the Winter 2020 collection is also not even close. And then we have Glow and Arrow from the Valentine's Day collection. You can see that that's a paler pink. I also compared PR Stunt, which is one of my fave Essie pinks. And Cebu Play has more of a metallic finish. And then here we have Flamingo from the Cirque Colors California Dreamin' Collection. A Touch of Sugar from Essie and I compared Essie Give It A Swirl to Don't Get It Twisted so you can see the differences in those. And last but not least is my absolute fave. This is all tie dyed up. This is such a fun, bright, shimmery blue. It's almost kind of like a foil formula and it literally glows on your nails. This is such a fun polish, such a bright polish. It's currently sold out on the Ulta website. So if you guys can find it in store, make sure you pick it up. I am going to do a giveaway if I can find all three polishes in one of my Ulta stores because I know a lot of you want these polishes. 
So I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'll keep you guys posted on whether or not I find the polishes. And speaking of giveaways, I have the winners of the OPI Malibu collection, the six piece collection, and then the winner of the China Glaze Havana Nights collection. So the winner of the OPI six polish collection is Vicky Pazdur. So it's P-A-Z-D-U-R. And the winner of the China Glaze Havana Nights collection is Tahisha Tolbert. I will be getting in touch with both of you guys to get your information and get these polishes out to you. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> I have a few comparisons to Essie all tie dyed up. I don't have anything in my collection that's as bright and as shimmery as this polish, so none of these compare, but I did compare Essie's Keep Calm, Essie Let It Ripple, and Essie Love at Frost Sight, and you can see none of these compare. Okay guys, so if you saw on Essie's Instagram, they actually released a little tutorial of a tie-dye look that you can do with these polishes, so I decided to go ahead and copy that tutorial just to give you guys a look at how easy this is. It's so much fun. And I'm just kind of dotting the polishes on there messily. I am using the brush from Essie that was a free gift with the purchase of this collection. And here I, I just applied some acetone polish to the top to kind of blend it in. And then I applied a top coat. So you can see that nail. I wasn't super happy with that nail, so I decided to do my other nails as well. So here you can see I'm doing my pointer finger and I found that if I had acetone on the brush when I started applying the polishes, it actually applied a little bit easier and not quite as chunky. And I liked the look of this a little bit better. I got a little bit too carried away with the acetone so you can see that I'm filling that back in with the blue and it's just so fun and so easy. Like, anybody can do this. Here you can see it on all my nails. Tahisha, you could do this. Vicky, you could do this. Amy, you could do this. Sarah, you could do this. Ginger, you could do this. Rasika, you could do this. Any of you that want to have this look can do it. So, there's a quick tutorial. And then here's a picture of that brush. It's a super cute brush. It's got a tie-dye look on it. So, you guys definitely need to give this tutorial a try. And if you do, make sure you tag me. I'd love to see your photos. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing Sunday. Guys, congrats to Vicky. Congrats to Tahisha. Thank you guys all for entering the giveaway. I love you all. Have a great week. Bye.